I helped Harrison get to over $10,000 per month, and now he's made a total of over $60,000 on Upwork. And the crazy thing is, all he had to do was just hack the Upwork algorithm. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how that works and how you can do the same for your profile. And the best thing is, it only takes about 10 minutes to do so. So for us to hack the Upwork algorithm and kind of maximize it, we need to work within these three layers. So these three layers are as follows. Number one, they're called the big four. The second one is SEO maxing, right? Like looks maxing, SEO maxing. And the third is basically getting free social proof. Now, the first one, you've probably heard a little bit about, but the second and third, I can almost guarantee that you haven't done on your profile. And this is where most of the magic happens. But first, we'll cover the big four, but then immediately we'll get straight into the SEO maxing and so on. So just stick around for that because it's really important. So when I talk about the big four, what I'm referring to is the four main things that your client is gonna see when they go on your profile. These things are your profile picture, your title, your name, as well as the badges that you have associated with your profile. And we need to maximize these first before moving on to like SEO and also testimonials and social proof, okay? So the first one is profile picture. Now, you just need it to be professional and you need to smile. A lot of people have this weird notion about not smiling in the profile pictures because they think that that's professional. People buy from who they like ultimately. So I want you to smile and I'm gonna give you a free tool. I'll put it in the description. It's just on Canva, it's completely free and it'll help you make really good profile pictures that stand out. So you can change the background, you can basically edit your picture a little bit as well with AI and it'll just overall help you make a better profile picture. One thing you notice is the best profiles, they have a good background and something that stands out. And you'll see this across every single niche on Upwork and pretty much every single freelancing site. So look, for example, with Harrison, like I said, he's made over $60,000 on Upwork. His profile picture, if we look at it, as you can see, you know, purple background, white kind of overlay. And he's actually went for like a more gray and white. Now this won't work for people obviously that have maybe like a darker skin complexion, but you can play around with it. You could make the background green, for example, or yellow or orange. It's up to you. You can use that free resource that I gave you on Canva to do so. Now, the second part of the big four is changing your name. So most of you won't have this issue, but if you have like a longer name, like for example, if your name is Jatinda, right? In this example, you can just change it to J. And I've actually found that this matters on Upwork because ultimately people just you know, I don't know what the reason is. Maybe it's like a little bit of racism or whatever. I don't know what it is, but ultimately we're just trying to make money here. It's maybe a little bit controversial. We just want to max out our SEO and we just want to max out the profile and make as much money as possible. So if you can make your name easier to say, people respond. Like imagine you, your perspective from a client. If I have to say, hey, Jatinda, or if I could just be like, yo, Jay, right? Makes your life easier. And I think Sometimes when people are on calls with people that have long names, it's a bit confusing. Most of you won't even have this issue, but I just wanted to include it because it's something that I've noticed and it is something that I do get some of my students that have longer names to change. So just keep that in mind. Now, the third part of the big four is basically changing the title. Now, this is really easy and I'm just gonna give you like a really easy way to do this. All you're gonna do is find the top five profiles in your niche. You can do that by simply Come into the search bar, type in, in your niche. So let's use like video editing. And then you're going to filter by talent. And I've showed this on many videos. You can, you know, watch another video if you want to, but I'll just show it here anyway. All we're going to do is we're going to click top rated and top rated plus. And then we're going to go down to earned amount. 10k plus now we can take it from these these are going to be fine to take from but one extra step i would urge you to take is click on the url scroll to the right and just add an extra zero or even two zeros because what this is going to do is it's going to filter for the profiles that have over 100k earned and if i put a second zero obviously a million earned right for example if i just put a second zero here you're going to see that uh you know we've got people that have made over a million million two million and so on right so that's just something I want you to do in your in your niche. I want you to find the best profiles and then I just want you to take the titles for those. So like, for example, if I go back to the 100K, you've got expert video editor, YouTube growth specialist, high-end video editor, promo videos. Okay, video editor, motion graphic design, animator, 
writer and comedy focus. This one isn't really relevant. YouTube video editing expert. So we know that the keywords there are like video editing, and we're going to use this in the second part, by the way. But the video editing, uh, video editing is important. You know, things like expert video editor, high end video editor. And all we're going to do is take the top five profiles, and then we're just going to redesign the title from those from that list essentially and if you don't even want to do that you can also just take all of the titles throw it into chat gpt and just ask it to remake it while still keeping it professional and still while using some of the keywords from those titles it's that simple it's just something that you should do and it will make a big difference trust me and the final part of the big four and again don't worry we're literally just about to go into like seo maxing and getting some free reviews on the profile but the final part of the big four is badges Every single person can get at least one or two badges on their profile. The first one's really easy. We're just going to pay 35 connects to get verified on Upwork. You have to do this anyway, so you might as well just do it. And it's going to give you like a little verification badge, similar to like on Twitter or whatever. So we're going to do that. That's the first badge. The second badge is bare minimum. You're going to get rising talent. And to get rising talent, all you need to do is have a 100% job success score or above 90% and you need to have a fully complete profile. And that's, again, pretty easy for everybody. Now, if you want to get top rated, you need to be essentially 100% or above 90% job success score for 13 out of 16 weeks. And you need to have made at least $1,000. So for many freelancers watching this video, that's pretty easy for you. So just protect your profile and its job success score for 13 weeks and you're going to get top rated. And when you get top rated, not only is it going to look good to profile them um, to potential clients, but it's going to make a big difference when it comes to getting invitations and kind of inbound leads for your niche. Trust me, it goes crazy once you're top rated and it's the same for top rated plus and so on. So yeah, as you can see with Harrison's profile, he's top rated plus, right? So he gets a lot of inbound leads. Now this does take some time to get to, but it does make a big difference. And at the very least, we can just put the badge of verification like this one right here. And there's also available now, but I wouldn't urge you to do that um, because it costs money and it's just not important. But now we get to move on to the juicy stuff. We're gonna be talking about SEO maxing. Just like looks maxing, we're gonna max out the SEO on our profile. And this is actually really cool. It doesn't take too long, but it makes a big difference. And it's kind of crazy that like a lot of people don't do this and a lot of people haven't heard of this. Ultimately, our goal when it comes to Upwork is to rank as hard as possible and as high as possible for our niche SEO keywords, okay? So if I'm in social media management, I wanna rank as high as possible for social media management. If I'm in video editing, I wanna rank for video editing. If I'm in no code, vibe coding, I wanna you know, rank for vibe coding, for example. So to do this, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take those keywords that we found in the title from the big four, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those keywords and put them all throughout the profile. And I mean everywhere, guys. We're gonna put them in the title. We're gonna put them in the description. We're gonna even put them, if we can, layered within the testimonial section, which we're gonna get into in a second. I even want you to put it in the portfolio description. And in the portfolio descriptions, I want you to put the skills of those keywords in the portfolio descriptions, in the other experiences section, in the employment history, literally everywhere you could possibly put it, even in the title of your video introduction on your profile, there's any way we can put these keywords on the profile, we wanna do it. Just max it out as much as possible. And what you're gonna find is it's gonna rank you higher. Because ultimately, Upwork is just an SEO tool, a bit like Google, for example. So if we have a lot of these keywords in our profile, we're gonna naturally rank a little bit higher. And I've seen this for people like Harrison, for example, with his, he has like Google ads, um, you know, PPC is a big keyword in Google ads and, and paid advertising, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, things like that, paid traffic. Those keywords throughout the profile make a big difference in terms of your SEO. And this only takes five, 10 minutes to do, but it makes a big difference when it comes to SEO maxing. So do the big four, then do your SEO maxing because they kind of both flow into each other. Now to tie it all together, we now need to get some free social proof and some testimonials. And I'm telling you, once you do this, this is where it like all comes together. If we do the big four, the SEO maxing, and then we have free testimonials, this means that even if we have a completely brand new profile, we're still gonna be able to max out our SEO and we're gonna rank really high. And it's just gonna look really good in general to potential clients. So it's really important that we do this. 
all we're going to do is we're going to basically get as many testimonials on our profile as possible. And these are completely free to get. You don't even have to have paid jobs to do this. As you can see with Harrison's profile, he's got like a bunch of these on his profile. And realistically speaking, clients don't know the difference between a job on Upwork and a testimonial. If you've never used Upwork before, they just kind of look the same. And ultimately, they just give you the social proof you need to either get your first few clients or if you already have a, a great profile and, you know, a maxed out profile, this just gives you a more chunky profile that looks even better. Now, what you need is you need an aged LinkedIn account from, you know, a potential client because what's going to happen is when you fill out the application on Upwork, Upwork's going to reach out to them and ask them for to write a review on, on their behalf. And... It can't be a brand new LinkedIn account. If you make a brand new LinkedIn account and think, okay, I'm gonna make a brand new LinkedIn account, give myself a review. Trust me, it doesn't work. You know, I know it doesn't work. I'll leave it at that, uh, <laughs> right? I've tried, right? It doesn't work, right? So you need real people with real LinkedIn accounts to give you a testimonial. Now, in my opinion, you can obviously get them to just write the testimonial, but if you want to make your life way easier and you make their life easier, just ask them before you fill it out and just say, look, like if you want to, this is what I'd love for you to write, you know, and just give them like a little template to write. That way they don't have to do much thinking and they're more likely to fill it out. And you can do as many of these as you like. I've had students have like 10 of these, right? But let's try and aim for three maximum. Because if we do the big four, then we do SEO maxing. And then we have like three or four really good testimonials on our profile. This is just like the easiest way for us to rank better and make our profile as optimized as possible. And that's it, guys. Harrison did this and he made over $60,000 and is making 10K per month doing this exact strategy. And I've helped a bunch of other people do it too. So if you want me to help you do this with your profile, even if you're a complete beginner or super experienced and already made a bunch of money, I can help you. Just click the link in the description. There's an application process to work with me. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.